What's going on, people? So, 2017, 2017, it's kind of a while ago at this point, right? What, like, I guess five years or something? Either way. So I was still somewhat new to the whole shoe thing or whatever. I'd kind of had a pretty good grasp on things, though, because as far as getting, like, if you look at what I got that year and what I wanted that year, it was almost like a one-for-one -one sort of thing, you know? So in that way, I must have been doing all right. I'm sure there were some things that slipped through the cracks because there always are, you know, but overall, if you don't remember it, you probably didn't want it a whole lot. And I don't think that there was anything from that era that I really wanted and didn't quite get. But, you know, I'd probably have to look at some old lists of what came out then, but I think I, I think it was good, especially with like those in-store raffles because those guys were definitely on my side back in that, back in that day, you know, at the, at the mall there in El Paso and stuff. But either way. So, back when I used to be active on Snups, because Snups was an active thing, I used to post pictures and stuff on there, kind of like Instagram or whatever. And so that's where I first saw people doing like the top 10 things. So, you know, last year I posted my like top 10 from 2016. This year, kind of continuing the trend, moving forward one year, that's why we're talking about 2017 things, right? So, I'm going to go through this, and these aren't in any particular order, right? but they are in the order in which I wrote them down, which likely was just me walking through my little home, which was a, what do they call it? It's a fancy word for like trailer home, right? Manufactured home, I think that's what they called it. Yeah, it was a weird time, but it's actually really nice though. Those things are a lot nicer than you might think. But either way, so I probably just walked around there, wrote down whatever I, whatever I saw, crossed off some things to dwindle it down to 10, and here we are. So, I think I've said enough. I mean, you didn't really need a backstory. I mean, the, the thumbnail and the title kind of gives you the backstory, right? But now you have it. Either way, let's go ahead and get on into this. This video is going to go, hopefully, not super long, but I feel like it just might. You never know, you know? Starting with stack number one. This right here is a 350 box. Some of you might have caught on to that, given the time frame and whatnot. There weren't a whole lot of other Yeezy models at that point, I don't think. So, okay, cool. This is the Beluga 2, right? Now, for anybody who's curious and is about to ask if I got the Beluga 2, I didn't want the Beluga 2, like the reflective thing. I'm just not really into that, so no. Now, these though, this was one of my first 350s that I bought with my own money. I got somebody to like get through on for another pair for me before these, but this one, might be the first one that I actually got. I'm very, very sure. And if anything, that's probably why I made the list. I do still like them, you know what I mean? I think it's a pretty cool color and all that good stuff. But I think that's probably where my mind was. Especially given that I wrote these down first. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like the... Though at the time, it was probably also one of the more recent releases. Because I think I... According to the picture, I wrote all this stuff down in like January of that year. Like, you know, January 1st or whatever. So, could be one of those things. Moving along, moving along. We got this right here. That's a, one of these complicated Jordan boxes. A lot of the reason, and I've said this before, I'll say it again because I got time. A lot of the reason that I don't wear these types of shoes, certain 11s, is because you gotta really work for it, you know? You can't just pull them out of the box like an Air Max or something. Either way, here we go. This is the Jordan 11 Win Like 82, right? Now, obviously, there's some bias in here on account of the whole thing about me being born in 82, but it still is a pretty nice looking shoe, right? I'll give them that. Is it plain? Yes. Yes, it is very plain. It's right alongside with those concords and various other things, but this has a nice navy blue instead of just being plain black and white, so it's at least got that. And then you got this other kind of blue going on over there. So yeah, overall, pretty decent. My mom likes her pair too, because I got her a pair as well, because you know, she buys into that whole 82 thing on account of me, right? Her favorite son. And I remember her taking a picture of them because she wore them to work like the next day or that she got them or something. And her coworker, I guess he also had a pair. She's like, look, we're wearing the same shoes. She doesn't really pay attention to like how hard it can be to get things or whatever. She just knows that I buy her stuff every now and then. So, move along. This right here. I'm a little surprised in some ways that these made the final cut. I'm guessing it might have something to do with how much work went into getting these because I, 
I don't remember where I ended up getting all of these because I wanted to complete that pack, but it took a lot of work, a lot of money because of the whole euros and various things. But in the end, I got all four that I wanted. So there's the two from the brief pack. There's the two Prestos and there's two Hirachis, same colors. If you saw the video, you saw the video. If you didn't, you can see it. If you don't want to, don't see it. Anyway, so yeah, these, it's a tough thing to figure out as to where exactly my head was, but maybe it was just like the whole personal victory aspect of it that carried these through to the, the final 10. I don't know. I don't know, but I do like the color though. Kind of matches up with this shirt in some kind of ways. Got this shirt back in 2017 as well. You know, if you can read, you probably knew that. On to stack number three. Two, two. Okay, we're kicking things off with an Ultra Boost, right? So this is the Ultra Boost 3.0 in the multicolored colorway. Now, I remember going to Foot Locker in El Paso and standing at the mall or standing at the door of Foot Locker, whatever, the little gate. Not super early, but it was like, I'd say the store opened at 10. I was probably there like 9.20, right? And I got there and there was like two other people in line already. And then, of course, as luck would have it, nobody showed up after me. So the three of us walked into the store when they opened like 30 minutes later, bought our pairs. And what do you know, when I went back down there like the next week or something, still fully stocked. So all that waiting around, well, I say all that waiting around, that waiting around, totally unnecessary. But I did walk away with something that I really liked because this colorway is still pretty cool in my eyes. And I believe I wore these to Comic-Con that year as well. Or the, yeah, pretty sure. It, either that year or the next year. I forget the timeline of things. Because, you know, I wanted something comfortable, you know? And these were taking the world by storm more or less at that point, and so that's what happened. But yeah, the Ultra Boost 3.0. They had some pretty good colorways back then. They've kind of been dropping the ball lately, the Ultra Boost people. Uh, Adidas, I guess that's who the Ultra Boost people are. So, I'm sure a lot of you recognize this box, right? And if you don't, that's cool. Here it is, so you don't have to take any guesses. This is the question from Reebok, right? The Iverson things. Got some kind of crap going on over here on the side. So these right here, I think I wore these once. Yeah, and you can still see some of these little black pebbles in the bottom of there. I wore these once when I was coaching soccer and my co-coach or whatever you want to call it, he was like the main dude, you know, like, cause he was like really good at the sport and knew all the stuff. I was just help, help keep track of the kids and do all the other stuff that needed to happen to make the team like work you know the administrative back end and so he didn't show up one day and I happened to be wearing these and I remember like that was like the only game where we like just destroyed the other team I don't remember making anything happen of my own the kids were just pretty good sometimes and I just kind of switched them out every so often yeah we ran right through that other team so I got some pretty good memory in these also, as far as why these are here, you might be wondering because I'm not normally like a big basketball type shoe guy. Back in ninth grade when these came out, I was still living here up in Virginia, you know, just a little further north or east or west. I don't know. Some other direction. But yeah, these were pretty much everywhere because dude went to school like miles away from where I went to school and he had just gone into the NBA. So it's a popular thing. And I thought, oh, those look pretty cool, whatever those are. I didn't know all that other stuff at the time. I found that out like years later. Very late to the game, but yeah. The questions. I've been a fan of those for a long time. It took me 20 years to be able to get a pair, but hey, it ended up eventually worked, you know? Because that was a 2017 release. Or maybe a 2016 release that I got in 17. Not really sure. This was one of those weird releases. And I also haven't worn these yet because, well, let's just face it, when I go to put shoes on, Jordans are the last thing I think about, so it's easy to forget about this stuff. But anyways, it was a weird release because they came out, this is the New Love uh, one mid. It was a weird release because when they came out, it was just like some stores got them this day, some stores got them another day. You just didn't know where they were gonna pop up, you know? It's like that whole whack-a-mole game. You just gotta sit there and wait and be patient and hope that you're online at the right time. And I think this was a Jimmy Jazz purchase. Is there a thing in here? Nah, it's not. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this was a Jimmy Jazz purchase. And obviously, 
as I've said many times, I like the black and yellow thing. So these have that, right? And that's why they're here. That and because I had $110 to spare. Yeah. So, plus maybe some shipping and tax. So, there's that. Okay, there's that there. So, stack number three. Let's do that. All right. Oh, now these right here. This is one that I also put in a fair amount of work on. I want to say I got these from that SVD site, the one where I got those fancy gel light threes. There's a whole pack of these Safari Prestos. I bought all except one, and now I kind of wish I bought that other one just so I could have all four. But that other one was basically like a white cement sort of colorway because it was like white and then like the black and yeah you know what the white cement things are if i know what they are everybody else out there should know what they are anyways these right here right how could i not get these you know what i'm saying they got like the stuff that i like going on with them and all that so that's why they're here that and like i said in the beginning a fair amount of luck some persistence and some number of dollars right that's kind of what goes into stuff once in a while you know some things are pretty easy to come across. Some things not so much. Those, yeah, man, like, and I don't really see a lot of people work wearing those either for some odd reason. I don't see a lot of people wearing these things either. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody wearing these. So this is the Mamba Curial, what is this, a Kobe 11 Low? I believe that's what these are, right? Yeah. So these right here, right? Now, I did one of my little videos on these not too long ago. It's probably like the only time that a Kobe shoe has been shown on this channel. Nothing against the guy or his shoes. I just don't care for most of them. But I did like these. Probably because I like low shoes and I like colorful things. So, you know, this was kind of checking both boxes. But yeah, these are pretty all right. Minus that big Nike thing going on. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it's on the inside. So I can't complain too much. I'll just complain a little bit. But yeah, these, I saw them in foot action back in the El Paso days again. And I kept my eye on them for a while. And I might have got them under retail. I don't remember. But I I definitely bought them towards the end of them being in stock. So I would assume I got a pretty good deal on them. So that just makes sense. And these. I am not an NMD fan. Not in any way, shape, or form. But I will admit they get a lot of really nice colorways. And that's why I own basically every pair that I own, right? Because it just spoke to me. And this right here, the Solar Red NMD R1, it's one of the earlier pairs that I bought. And I don't know how it's showing up in the camera, but when you wear these things out or whatever, like this red is pretty intense, right? It's a little much in some ways, in some lights, but I do really like it, you know? And it's one of those things where it's strange to me, but I don't normally get so into like the all one color shoes. I mean, I obviously I did with those Prestos and stuff, but that's not normally me. But this right here, these, these are a special case. So glad to have these. They don't come out a whole lot. I think I did wear them recently though, like when I was doing my little kicks of the day videos. Cause if I recall correctly, I made some kind of joke about like Aqua Teen Hunger Force or something. I don't know. I make jokes that entertain me. Sometimes they entertain other people, but I don't know. Usually not, I guess. Anyways, last, certainly not least, we have this right here. Another shoe that I forget exists and therefore have not worn, which is the Air Jordan 1 in the All-Star colorway. I think they're also called like the Chameleons or something like that. But yeah, they got a whole lot of cool stuff happening, you know? I remember buying these and thinking, wow, this is pretty all right, you know? And that was kind of it. I put in for them. I accidentally clicked on the size that I didn't want. I wanted nine, but I ended up with a nine and a half. And I was like, ah, I'll, I'll deal with it later. They'll come back in stock, maybe. That, that didn't happen. I still have that same size. So, yeah, see, nine and a half. But, but yeah, these, these are pretty cool. I do like them a lot. And one of these days, I'll think that they're cool enough to actually wear, hopefully. Again, I, I know some people like buy shoes and they just keep them in the boxes and that's weird to me. I just forget about stuff, honestly. I mean, if you've been following along, you know I have a good number. So that's the 10, right? But here's the thing. Remember I said like, I crossed off some shoes that didn't quite make the cut? I'm going to show you those too because I'm a nice guy and I got a lot of free time today. 
I was supposed to do this video yesterday, but you know, sometimes things just don't work out. What is this? Oh, remember when Nike used to like order things in the things? You know, this is the eggplant phones. I'm sure some people remember these. It was one of those releases where everybody wanted it to come back, and then they came back and nobody bought them except like me and like three other people. At least according to like what I saw in stock in my stores locally. So yeah, I probably could have saved some money had I known that they weren't gonna sell like I thought they were going to, but I wanted them, so I didn't want to take any chances because that's a thing that happens sometimes, right? But hey, it is what it is. You know, it was years ago, so water under a bridge or something at this point. But in the end, I did get something that I wanted without any hassle. So I do miss those days a whole heck of a lot, honestly. Because nowadays, you, you got to put in work for anything with any remote interest. Which is a lot of the reason that I just stick with the other stuff. You know, the Asics and the Adidas and whatnot. So, I've got this right here. This is a shoe that I actually bought three times, right? Because I bought one pair, this pair right here. And I bought another pair to keep at my mom's house. And my dad saw it and he was like pretty into them. I'm like, you know what? You keep those. I'll get another one. So then I bought another one which is also at my mom's house, probably unworn, I'm pretty sure. But these right here, this is the Air Max One Ultra Flyknit, right? So this was a short-lived thing that they were doing for a little while. And this pair, it is a little bit dirty, as you can kind of see in some areas that might be showing up. What happened was I went out to see Tony Hawk one day because he was going to be skating down in El Paso. And out of nowhere, this like huge dust storm came through and like then there was some rain. So that combination on a shoe like this, not great. And I probably could have cleaned them up or something or other, whatever, but you know, I'm not really like a big shoe cleaning kind of guy. So I was like, yeah, I got another pair. It doesn't matter, right? But yeah, I do really like these though. They feel pretty awesome. It is a bit of a different outsole than you might be expecting for a Jordan 1 or for an Air Max 1. But that's because like they're doing like the ultra style midsole on those, outsole on those. So if that matters to you, do whatever with that information if that doesn't matter to you maybe share it with somebody that does care i don't know moving right along man these are this is something i haven't seen in a long while this is the hirachi run premium i think that's what they call these yeah hirachi run premium so because you know different hirachis are made slightly in different ways or whatever so these aren't like your standard ones or like the breed ones or whatever but Either way, they got this here iridescent thing going on, kind of like those ones I just had out a second ago. And just the color is kind of cool. So this was one that I really wanted. And even though it wasn't anything amazing or whatever, sometimes it's just the fact that you see something cool, that's enough, right? And so it apparently was enough to make it stand out over however many other shoes I bought that year. Not enough to, you know, make it to the final 10, but... I can see why I at least considered it, you know? At the end of the day though, I mean, it is just a Hirachi. I probably wasn't as big of a fan at the time just yet. You know, trying to put myself in the mindset of what I may have been thinking back then. And one more, well, two more. This, it's not in the box because I actually keep these out and ready to go. This is the shoe that I generally wear when I'm just gonna run out around the block, maybe go for a walk, go to the restaurant, you know, walk down to a gas station or something. And so back then in 2017, to me, the reason these probably didn't make the final list is, you know, it's just a, it's a nice shoe. I do like the Ultra Boost Uncaged. I'm going to assume that one probably made the previous year. I don't know. But it still was just, you know, a normal shoe that they were making and just the colorway that I happened to like. So nothing too amazing, right? But then you fast forward later and then when they stop making these, now I kind of have like, you know, a slightly more of a fond memory of them i guess you could say because they don't come around anymore and that just kind of sucks especially given that it's one of my favorite models period you know Th these these rank above a lot of things for me like a lot of things so kind of sucks they don't really make them like this anymore but maybe one day they'll they'll do some retro type action or something and now the last one right the last one so these right here this is the Take Flight, yeah, the Take Flight Jordan 8. Man, this is a bulky looking thing. No wonder people don't like 8s. I haven't seen an 8 in a while, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I kind of see where people are coming from with not liking these. There's a lot of stuff going on. Like, 
it's one of those things where on paper I wouldn't imagine I would like this but the color combination was pretty cool so there was that and they feel pretty decent when you wear them right for you know for Jordan standards anyway now these right here I picked these up from that website people can never get stuff from shoe palace shoe palace right so I was trying in the morning it wasn't working out I went and did some laundry came back the website was still open on my computer so I hit refresh and it was like here add to cart I was like hmm so a couple clicks later, I had an order number, and then a couple days later, I had some shoes. So I was very surprised. And that was the last time I bought anything from Shoe Palace because normally it's impossible. Some people can back me up on that. But either way, these are pretty nice. I do like that green. I like the little bit of red that they had going on in some parts of the shoe. And this actually got a friend of mine into the shoes because he saw them. I, had, I used to bring in my shoes that I was gonna wear to the gym later or whatever. And he came in my office one day and he's like, oh man, what are these? And I told him about them and then that just kind of spawned the whole thing. I don't know if he ever actually got them, but he did definitely get into the whole shoe thing for a while. Probably still is. And there we go. We've done it. So I'm done here. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite match from WrestleMania 33 if you have one. But for now, I got some other stuff to do, so I'm going to go do that. Videos, that is. You'll see them, because you'll see this shirt. Later, people.